How to use Microsoft Visio. Flow charts, diagrams, organizational charts. If you're drowning in complex ideas, Microsoft Visio turns them into clear visuals. Today, I'm going to be quickly showing you, even if you're a total newbie, how you're going to use this. So let's diagram like a pro. Firstly, what you're going to do is you're going to open up Visio. It's a part of Microsoft 365 or available as a standalone app. Now you can start by going ahead to their website and see their plans and pricings. Now, once we come to see plans and pricings, if you do have the 365 suite, it is going to be included in that and you can sign into your Visio through your Microsoft account. Or what you can do is you can go with your subscription plans, the $5 and $15, or you can even do a one-time purchase where you won't need to pay anymore. Now, what you do to start yourself off is you can actually sign in to your Microsoft account. And once you go ahead and sign in with your Microsoft account, what it does is it takes you through the onboarding that is needed to start up with Wizio. Now, opening up Wizio, what happens is it's part of Microsoft 365. So you're going to be seeing it as an available standalone app to pretty much easily work with. So what you can do is you can start by actually choosing a template. OK, this is your overview. You choose your template and Visio has tons of templates like flow charts, network diagram, floor plans and even more. So for beginners, you can go ahead with any basic flow chart. So as you can see right here in this image, you have all these basic flow chart shapes like boxes. Then there's connectors and a whole lot more. Now you'll see a blank page like this with shapes on the left right here now this is the shapes pane you can drag and drop the shapes onto the canvas for a flow chart you know you can use rectangle for processes you can use diamonds for decisions and ovals for start or end points you can connect them by hovering over a shape until blue arrows appear for you so you can simply click and drag onto the next shape now visio snaps them together pretty neatly and it, it works pretty incredible now, you can also go ahead and double click any shape and format your text using these home tabs right here. And obviously, if you've used the Microsoft suite or any Microsoft 365 feature, you know how this works. You know this just like the back of your hand and you can go to design, pick a color scheme and it instantly styles it. Now, for more advanced programs or diagrams, you can also get things like mind maps where you can create whole mind maps like this, think out loud and make brainstorming much simpler and actionable with a range of templates for visualizing problems and mapping solutions. You can also go with organizational charts for yourself, which is pretty incredible. But when it comes to the main usage, obviously flow charts is the main worker. And for more advanced flow charts, you know, like org charts or network maps, you can use data linking as well, where you can go to link data to shapes and you can import whole Excel files with names and titles. Now you can move that from drag and data fields onto shapes and Visio auto fills all of them. And the best part about using Visio is all of these different features that it brings you, especially org charts, because creating org charts is an amazing thing. You can get hierarchical working matrix, horizontal org charts, and you can bring all of your best ideas to life as you go on. And it's great for team communication and project construction. So, you know, using these things really saves you a lot of time and also makes your work much more better and streamlined. So collaborate by saving your diagram to OneDrive or even SharePoint if you work around with those softwares. You can click share and even invite others into your diagrams and they can edit it in real time with comments. Now, finally, you can export it as a PDF or image. And that's pretty much about it. That's Visio in a nutshell. So just practice with templates and so you'll visualize anything. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.